Hey everybody, are your smart devices listening to you? There's a big debate on the internet and I've done some research, I've done some testing, and I want to talk about it and share what I found. If this brings you value, please like, subscribe, share, click all that good stuff. I would greatly appreciate it because it takes time to dig into some of this stuff and research it and make it simple down to a few minute video. So thank you for watching. Again, please like, subscribe, share. So most people know I'm a pretty techie guy and uh, network engineering is my background and I hear everybody and I felt it, right? Hey, I was just talking about this and this ad popped up. These smart devices are listening to you. And 68% of Americans believe that their smart devices, so things like these and things like these and all over my desk here, that they, they're listening to you. And so the fact is the answer isn't just a simple yes or a simple no, it's yes and no. So let's talk about it. So I did something with the Amazon Alexa and some of these other smart devices in what's called a network packet capture. So I watch them through the, the wire, I guess would be the best way to say, for, for some time to figure out what was going on with these things. And they do constantly ping the server, the Amazon server. You can actually see the traffic. Uh, you can see them talk back and forth. And it's not that they're sending data from your network or things like that. Well, they are, but not what you think, not, not your words. Uh, to get through a firewall, they constantly have to send little messages to keep the port open. So if somebody were to call you, it would ring or something like that. So it can receive inbound communications as it can see outbound communications. But that's a perfect point. It is poking a hole in your firewall or your router so it can have constant communication back and forth. Now, these things are designed to only listen to wake words. Same thing with your phones or other devices. Uh, and they do that and they do a de decent job. But sometimes they confuse the wake words or they sound like the wake words. And now, kind of what I said early on, it's like people are like, oh, I just said this and this ad popped up on Facebook. Let me talk about the sheer economics of mobile. So first of all, I sniffed the packets on this too. And yes, these phones and almost every application is constantly sending messages to and from the servers on the internet. But transmitting and recording data use a lot of battery power um, and a lot of data. So they're not actively streaming what you're saying out to the servers and then there's nobody on the other side that's able to like listen to hey this is what's going on you know uh, because think about it there's millions of phones millions of smart devices no one person or group of people or company is equipped to, to look through that all however they do have analytics and things like that so the short answer on this is no it's not listening to everything you say but half of the apps for every app that you download on one of these devices there's enough data it's capturing. It is capturing your GPS information. It is capturing what applications you use, how long you do it, what your internet searches are. Um, everything you do on this phone, not, not necessarily say, it's tracking that data. And let me tell you, that is plenty of data to figure out and figure out what to advertise to you. Um, and so, the, the yes, it's spying on you, but not in the way you think. It's not recording everything. Now, let me put on my cybersecurity hat here for a minute and, and talk about it. So I said all of these devices are poking holes through your router and your firewall and talking to a server. You would be surprised at what somebody could do with access to those servers, whether it's an employee of these companies or a hacker. They can then get into these devices and turn on recording. They could manually go in there and, and do these things and yes, then they could listen in on all of your conversations. They could do that. It's, it's a bug. It is a bug you decided to put in your house. And if somebody else decides to turn it on, it can become an active recording device. All the parts are here. Same thing with your phone. I'm looking right now at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine active recording devices that could be turned into a bug into my office. Now it's too much bandwidth, too much battery use, too much data to actually use it all of the time. With that said, these companies are taking information. So be careful, every app that you install, 
You're giving them more information. You're giving them more details. Everything that you turn on is, is more access. The likeliness of this kind of technology being hacked, not specifically one, but all of them, is really, really high. If the company can turn it on, which I, I, I promise you, if Apple wanted to, or Android wanted to, or Alexa wanted to, they could turn on that recording device and start using it as a recording device. If they wanted to, they could do it because that's all built in. It's all the hardware is there, all the software is there. They don't necessarily want to do it because it's just too much data. But again, that doesn't mean a hacker doesn't want to do it. That doesn't mean a um, you know an employee doesn't want to do it. Short answer, yes, this stuff is fully capable. Uh, Long answer is you probably aren't as interesting as you may think you are uh, to uh, to have somebody want to do that and be a hacking target or a target of, of you know the employees of these companies and things like that. But the, the possibility and potential are still there. I do want to highlight though, all of these devices have privacy settings. You probably saw in one of my earlier videos that Amazon Alexa turned on their own uh, private Wi-Fi sharing. Like they'll sh this device can share out Wi-Fi to my neighbors. Uh-uh. You can turn that off in the app as well as, you know, it seems innocent when you boot up a brand new computer and says, do you want to share private analytics with this company? I know it helps improve the products, but you probably don't. That's not something that you want to do. And so my recommendation was turn off all that stuff because it's another window into the world. And if you're really, really worried about being spied on, the only way to deal with it is unplug it and pull the battery out. And there's one thing we didn't talk about here, which was governments. Governments classify under the hacker group. If they want to listen to you, they want to get into your stuff, even if your stuff is off, there's still, like, iPhones don't have removable batteries. Uh, they, they could turn on that microphone and they can turn on that data connection if they really wanted to. Um, so the best, best thing is, is unplug stuff that is wired, that requires house power, if you're really worried about it. And if your phones and your, your other objects, turning them off may not be, you know, good enough, you're gonna to have to move them out of the room and things like that. Um, so for an average person, don't worry that Amazon or Google or even Facebook is really spying on your words. They're spying on you in plenty of other ways. However, you, the hacker aspect is what you gotta worry about and the people that work for those companies, the access is there. Um, so hopefully this puts a little bit into perspective and it gives you an idea of what to worry about and not worry about, again, an audio conversation, it's not very likely that uh, that somebody is going to just randomly tap in and listen to it. And they're not using that kind of stuff for, um, for advertising. It's just too resource intensive. But hackers and, uh, and these employees, there's full access to do this kind of stuff. So anyway, hopefully this brought you some value and you know reduced a little paranoia, maybe created a little new paranoia. This is how this stuff works. Um, I'll keep checking these from time to time to see if they change because every time they get a software update, they change. Um, and maybe those behaviors and maybe it becomes more economical to record everything you say. Um, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Hopefully this all made sense, brought you some value. Please subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch of more tech stuff, money stuff, uh, some cool stuff that I've got in the works that take a lot of research. Um, so please like and subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.